So whoever they are, they've got you scared too, huh? Too many wives, too many children. Only one woo. There's only one woo. There's a joke there somewhere. Forget it. Remember Shanghai? The day you took me out along Bubbling Well Road. Picnic in the orchard. Remember? What do you think I bought them for? Remember. Wasn't it the day after that they shipped me out? Almost makes me cry to think of it. You and a hundred others standing on a dock waving lace handkerchiefs. And me and a hundred others on a ship waving our dumb arms off. The next time I see you, you got a husband. Brother. I just fought the war for the wrong piece of real estate. The guys who fought it here had all the breaks. Have you done what I asked you? About Julian? Of course. Mike Callahan. Private eye. And you discovered? I discovered that your husband is very easily followed in the crowd because of his upright and military bearing. That he saves the price of the morning papers by grabbing a free look in the reading room of the English Officers Club. And that he can't resist rubbernecking at that excavation for the new department store on Lao Yi Street. And, although I don't know how closely he's tied in with him, he at least has a speaking acquaintance with a character called Guzik. Guzik? A messenger boy, bodyguard, and all-around assassin for one Alexis Padaris. And in case you don't know, one Alexis Padaris is the big operator. I know, I know. But why did Guzik and Julian meet? What do they talk about? It's clumsiness, I admit. But I haven't been able to get close enough to overhear and still stay out of sight. That sounds as though it might be dangerous. You can say that again. Once I was watching him so close, I didn't see where I was going and almost fell down a manhole. And another time, I got clobbered by a revolving door. Oh, stop it, Mike. Stop it. I mean for Julian. Well, it could be. Depends on how deep he's involved, what kind of a project they got on. For all I know, Guzik and he were just swapping bets on the dog races. That's what I want you to find out next, Mike. How he's involved with Guzik. Why he meets him. What they do talk about. No, thanks. This was my last day. I'm handing in my badge. Oh? You know, he keeps talking about how he can't keep living on my money. How he should be the one who supports us. I'm really afraid for him. Afraid of what he might do. Okay, suppose I do keep on his trail. And I find out that he's planning to knock over a bank. Or that he shills little children for a sausage factory. Or that he's selling military information. He's a spy. What do I do then? Gumshoe back here and spill it all to you? No, thanks. You see, going along the way we have been, I can always tell myself that I've got some second chance with you someday. But spying on a man through keyholes, and coming back and singing to his wife, he'd hate me and so would you. Mm -hmm. 